Jeff collects roadkill to use as devil food. Okay. But for tonight, we're going to need something a little fresher. We've got some ropes to drag some things around and a bin to put any dead animals in. We're ready to roll. So this is a tour of inspection. Every morning, I go and do this 12-kilometre section of road to remove any roadkill so that any predators that come out at night don't get knocked while they're feeding on it. Oh, my goodness me! Oh! What, what kind of an animal is this? This is a paddy melon. It's like spaghetti. Oh, goodness me. There's an art to this, isn't there? Yeah, you've done well. OK, hang on. Tasmania is full of hungry nocturnal animals and lots of winding country roads. It's a recipe for disaster. So that the roadkill itself attracts other animals and then they get hit by the cars as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it can have, I think, something like 10% of Tasmanian devils in, are, uh, are killed by roadkill. If you have lactating females killed, you've got four orphans that are sitting out in the bush. Now, you see where that bird flew up? Yeah, yeah, That's yep. the sort of thing you're looking for. And here's another one. Here's another dead animal. It's a freshly killed wallaby. See how the end of the tail is bitten off? Right. That's a sure sign that there's been a Tasmanian devil. This is right near the entrance to my property, so if we do a scent drag from here, we'll pick up any devils that were feeding here and they'll follow that scent trail in and hopefully we'll see them tonight. So effectively, we're chumming, like you do with great white sharks. We're doing a sort of a chumming. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. The last stop for this poor guy will hopefully be as devil food. 